talk about these cookies. I got my little babes with me because she's being a little cranky booby. Some Pepperidge Farm strawberry cookies because they were on sale and PJ has this app that gets them for a really good price. We got some enchiladas. These are amazing. The Stouffer's Chicken Enchiladas. I highly recommend them. For Stouffer's Dinner, this one is one that we've never tried before. It's the Chicken Alfredo. We got this Signature Select Garlic Chicken Alfredo Pizza. We got some Thomas Bagels. This is the cinnamon raisin kind, and then we got the plain bagel. These are obviously PJ's. He got the TJ Friday's boneless chicken bites. He gets the buffalo side. We got more of our peanut butter. We like the Skippy's natural creamy peanut butter. This is another dinner that we're gonna try. This is the P.F. Chang's honey chicken. We like to put this over some rice. We already had rice, so we just got the chicken. I got a Gatorade. I like the white kind. Actually, PJ told me about it. For my oatmeal squares, I love these. I get the peanut butter ones and the cinnamon brown sugar. This one is the cinnamon brown sugar. I got my oven baked Cheetah. We got a couple boxes of these oats and berries blueberry or blueberry waffles. These are definitely not healthy, but they're really good. These are the raspberry toaster strudels. I really like them, and Jordan likes them sometimes for breakfast. We got some steamed fresh corn, and then we got of our pastaroni. We like the angel hair with herbs. We like this with dinners too. Some of these protein snacks. Next, we got this humongo bag of cheese because we use this cheese for pretty much everything. We got some ground turkey, some chamomile tea. I like having chamomile tea at nighttime. I used to eat these a lot, but I stopped eating them, and I for some reason wanted them again. So these are the goldfish grams and vanilla cupcakes. PJ likes the Parmesan goldfish. Got some hot dogs, some shake and bake for when we cook chicken, some stovetop chicken stuffing. We got another thing of salt, some mayonnaise. We got some almond butter. I got one of these that I wanted to try. These are Noosa Mates honey yogurt. It has like little things in the top, like it has honey, honey pretzels and some chocolate. And then last but not least, we got some Pillsbury crammed croissants and, and burrito. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm trying to talk quiet because she is sleeping over here, so don't wanna wake her up. Um, don't mind my hair, it's air drying right now. I just got out of the shower not too long ago. Today was the day that I obviously needed a new comforter because this little princess next to me decided to poop while she was being breastfed and I have a white comforter and she went through her diaper and it went all over my white comforter so I tried washing it I tried bleaching it and it's still there so today is the day that I'm getting a new comforter but I go through comforters like crazy so um, I'm not going to get something like super expensive the one that I had was from Target and we have a king size bed and it was like a hundred and something dollars close to 200 I'm not doing that again I'm just gonna go to Walmart and try to find a cute one that I may like and yeah I'm really white I really need to tan um, if you guys breastfeed, do you guys self tan? And if you do, how do you self tan? Um, like, is it okay while you're breastfeeding to self tan your chest and just not your boobs? I've always kind of wondered that. I've never tanned like my chest or anything or my arms like when I've been breastfeeding, but I have been doing my legs. And so I would like to do up here because like I'm ghostly white. And as you can see, it's raining and there's no sun and I, I actually really love it but it's raining like crazy I don't know if you guys can actually see the rain pouring down but it's amazing and your girl still likes to be a little bit tan and have some golden bronze when you know the weather is like this so let me know if you guys breastfeed and still self tan but yeah I'm getting a new comforter today um, she looks super cute you guys I have to show you the bib that I, I got from my baby shower says my mom is hotter than your mom she's so adorable like I just can't get over how cute she is like I don't know if I'm just biased or whatever but I think that she is the cutest baby ever um and apparently she's my twin everybody says that she looks exactly like me guess I have strong genes <laughs> my mom um, doesn't have work today so I'm going to wait for her she went on like a hike or something she's insane it's raining and she went on a hike with her friend so I don't think she's gonna be there that long because obviously it's raining like crazy outside like it's pouring so I don't think she's gonna be hiking that long so she gets done with her hike she said she's gonna come over and she's we're gonna go to Walmart together and we're just gonna all three go the baby too and try to find a new comforter 
The baby's crying. So I'm gonna do a mini little haul for you guys because I did say that I was getting a new comforter and I found one that I actually really liked. So I thought I would do a little haul. I did get a couple other things because Target just, or Walmart sucked me in. I got this best little sister onesie the footies you guys know I'm like obsessed with these and then actually it says turn around turn me around so it has little ruffles that's cute and then I got a reindeer one because love it. it's for Christmas some washcloths because I literally use washcloths 24 7 to like uh, wipe down counters and stuff I got a Christmas towel because Christmas is coming up and we're gonna start decorating for it I also got another one because they were super cheap and this one I thought was really cute, too I didn't like go crazy on the Christmas just because I Really could have went crazy, but I just didn't right now. I got this little toothbrush holder They had like a whole bathroom set of this that I'm thinking about maybe doing my whole bathroom like this but for now i just got the toothbrush holder and then i could not pass up getting another mug this says boss lady and i thought it was really cute because inside of it it says i'm not bossy i am the boss thought this was so cute i just couldn't pass it up and then maybe i'll show you guys the comforter once i wash it and once it's on my bed because i feel like it'd be a lot cuter so yeah until then keep watching if you guys want to see how it looks on my bed so guys, this is the bed set. Adriana's is laying on it because she wants to not be picked up. She just wants to lay here. So there she is. <laughs> so this is the bed set that I got and it's actually really comfortable. I actually really like it. And it came with two shams and I feel like it looks really good with those rose gold lights and then everything. I just need to get more pillows because it came with like two squared pillowcases for like those big pillows that are like in a square shape and then it came with two king size like shams so our pillows aren't like well I think one of our pillows is a king sized one the other one isn't so those really wouldn't fit it would just be like really big so I need to get like two of those like super square ones and then like two um, king sized actual pillows to put those on and then these ones back here will just be like those are the ones that we actually like sleep with so, I really love it though. We slept on it last night and it's super comfortable. And now I feel like I just need to get like a little headboard or something. But I don't know how that would work because I love this. So, hmm. I don't know. But I really love it. Super pretty. And I just like how it's like pink and gray and has like this nice embroidery and has some white in it. I'm obsessed. Playing in her play yard. Well, laying in there. <laughs> Comes with all these little things. They're really fun. You know what? We should get the one that that lights up. She likes light up things. You're missing a glove. You might as well take this one off. It's yucky. Has something on it. Hey guys, so I am back from my hair appointment now. I just wanted to do a little update on how everything went and how leaving her for four hours went for the first time ever, which it went horrible and I probably will never do it again until she's way older. Um, so I'm glad that I got it done. So I did just do my roots and everything and just got my blonde touched up, really love it. Back to being super blonde. This is how I'm supposed to look. I just hadn't got my hair done in like super long. So anyway, sorry she spit up. So I had to wipe that off my shoulder. Um, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an update because she was left for the first time for that long. And what's the matter? Hold on, let me, let me lash her on really quick. So anyways, um, I will not be doing that again because it was extremely, extremely hard. So I left around, my appointment was at 10 a.m. and it was it was like 30 minutes away. I left at like 9.20 because my, or no, I left at 9.30 and I got there at 10.02. So it was definitely like 32 minutes away like the directions said. My lady has her own shop now. So it was just, it was around the same area that it was. But the distance wasn't the problem. It's the growth spurt that Adriana is going through. She usually loves staying with my mom and PJ. Like she usually does fine and she's always done really good. Um, when I've gotten my nails done, which is only an hour, but still she's done really good and I've left her um, For I think two hours max when me and my mom went to Target and we went out to dinner PJ kind of gave me like it was like a little outing which was nice and she stayed with PJ 
Well, as of three days ago, that has completely changed. She acts like she doesn't know who PJ and my mom are and literally only wants me. Like it was a 360 change from say last week until now. And she's been kind of acting this way for like three days where she just wants me. I'm the only one that can calm her and she just wants to nurse and nurse and nurse and nurse all day. So I can't really get much done. So I'm not sure, my friend said that her daughter's going through the same thing. And they're around the same age, I think like three days apart. So that's pretty nice knowing that somebody else is kind of going through the same thing and I'm not alone. And she said that her pediatrician said it was growing pains and not necessarily that they're in pain, but it's just like they're growing and they're changing. But I feel like everything is blamed on growth spurts. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's like, is it really a growth spurt? Like, it's just confusing, and I wish I knew the exact answer. You know, babies change every day. So I had my hair appointment booked for two months, and my mom watched her, and it was definitely a challenge. I left loads of breast milk. If you guys watched my vlog before this, she did really good with the bottle, and she, like, was just doing really amazing at it. She didn't mind it. She liked it. And for some reason, when my mom tried to give it to her, she didn't want it today like literally acted like she never seen it before but i have fed her with bottles before with my breast milk so i don't know it's just different i guess and it could be because my mom gave her the bottle and i she's used to me doing it i'm not really sure it was definitely a challenge my mom says that she was on and off crying basically the entire time i was gone and as soon as i got home she was silent like she hasn't really cried since she has wanted to nurse a lot and you would think she'd be tired from like crying on and off from when I was gone but she's like not sleeping like she like is taking cat naps but then the other day she slept the entire day so it's just like crazy how different they their days are so but I, I felt absolutely horrible because I was 30 minutes from home and I was in foils. Like, I had foils in my hair. And I'm, like, telling my hair girl, I'm, like, please hurry up. Like, my daughter is, like, not doing as well as she normally does with my mom. And I feel really bad because she's not eating and blah, blah, blah. I did feed her a lot before I left. So I was okay with that. And as long as she was having wet diapers, I knew she was fine. Um, and she can also, at this age, go four hours without eating because she sleeps sometimes four hours without eating so that's that's fine um but i was still extremely worried and if she was hungry i obviously wanted to fulfill her needs and feed her and i left loads of breast milk and she was just not having it so my mom's like i don't know what to do you need to get home so it was just a stress so that's why my hair is like just it she had to let it air dry she just rinsed i had my hair in foils she rinsed the colors out or the color out and then she, i just like let my hair air dry like she couldn't style it or anything because i had to go so that's just the life of being a mom i'm not complaining but i was just super worried i didn't even have, get to like have a good time you know or like relax or anything because i was just worried the entire time i had like horrible anxiety my hair girl was like i know how like you look just like so stressed out and i'm like i am like you just worry about your kid so much like it's crazy i was just worried the entire time i just wanted to leave like i didn't even care but so i'm glad i got my hair done i guess because i'm not going to be going for a while so, but I thought I would give you guys an update on my first long outing. And I can't do that again, probably until she is a little bit older. And PJ brought me home dinner and a milkshake. I'm so excited right now.